Hey everybody, Randy coming back at you, FPV Trends, and first of all, happy 2023! Boy, I hope each and every one of you have a very prosperous year this year, and even better than the previous years before this one. So today I want to talk to you about latency in the DJI O3 Air unit. How can we get the lowest latency? Well, I did some tests, and... Uh, we're going to go over each and every one of those videos. I've made them about 15 seconds long, so you can just kind of sit through them. But if you don't really want to sit through all the tests, then you can kind of skip forward to the end, and I'll go over my results there. But uh, it's, this is a very short video, so why not just go ahead and watch the whole thing? Hey, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed and will subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and uh, it would be very helpful if you would go ahead and subscribe and share this video with others. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my flight tests. So let's try 2.7K at 50 FPS. Now I've put a little hand down there showing you exactly where the latency is showing. It says different time, but uh, it, has the, it actually is the latency. Now it should be noted that any jumpiness or jello or anything like that that you see is because I am running this uh, at uh, 4K 60 frames per second, uh, high definition. Now let's go ahead and see what the 4K at 50 FPS looks like. Uh, and you can see it's 40 milliseconds as well. The other one was 40 milliseconds, and this one is also at 40 milliseconds. So that's 4K 50 frames per second. Now let's try 2.7 at 60 FPS. Let's see what it looks like. Now you can see we're at 33, 34 milliseconds is what we're running at on the latency. That's, uh, that's fairly low. Uh, that's good. Uh, not as good as some other units out there, like the Walk Snail and HD Zero, but that's really good. Now let's try 4K at 60 FPS. Uh, and as you can see here, we're still running at 33, 34 milliseconds on the latency. So that's doing well uh, also. And once again, let's try 2.7K at 100 FPS. And as you can see, it's getting 40 milliseconds latency, 39, it's jumping to 39 every so often, uh, but staying 40 most of the time. Now let's go ahead and try 4K at 100 FPS, and we're also getting 40 milliseconds. So it looks like our lowest latency that we can get is about 33 milliseconds, and that's going to be on the... 4K 60 FPS and 2.7K 60 FPS. So as you can see from those test results, to get the lowest latency possible, we need to be running at 2.7K 60 FPS or 4K 60 FPS. Because if we run at 100 FPS or 50 FPS, we get a higher latency. I'm not sure why that is, because typically speaking, the higher frame rate means lower latency. But in this situation, uh, it's not the case. So I'm going to be running mine at probably 4K uh, 60 FPS all the time. So you can choose whether you want to run it at 2.7 or 4K, but I would run it at 60 FPS for sure. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others. And until next time, stay safe, fly safe, and I'll see each and every one of you on the flip side.